I just love watching these big catarans come flying through Hallover Inlet. They always handle it with such grace. Welcome back, guys. It is your boy Broncos Guru, and it's this week's episode of Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature in Miami, Florida. Our first boater to do battle with Hallover Inlet this week is going to show us what it's like when you have a little bit more of a wavy ride than our first person coming through Hallover did today. They've made the same mistake many others make when they're coming through Hallover Inlet, and that is coming through this inlet too slowly. It really is key to try and get your boat at least up to its minimum planing speed, or as close to that as you can get, unless things are just really crazy out there. And then I do understand the need to take a little more caution and slow down in those kind of cases. But right here, it really isn't that bad out today. They've come through at an idle pace. And what's happening is, is the waves, they're just overpowering the boat because the boat doesn't have enough speed or power behind it. This round right here is definitely going to haul over inlet. Here's a great example of what we talked about even in the first round that even the little guy can do this with a little power behind him. This is the same day as that last boat we just saw come through. These guys have got the boat up on plane so it's sitting high up on top of the water and they're making it through flawlessly. I do have to give these guys credit. They must be some kind of haul over pros because sometimes it can be a little intimidating to do that in a smaller boat but this round definitely goes to the boats. Our contender in the third round is kind of going to remind me of the gentleman in the first round. When you've got plenty of boat, but you're not doing anything with it. I will give him a little credit here. Maybe this is young love, and he's just trying to take it easy for the girl in the passenger seat next to him. I mean, it is a kind thought to think that maybe he did slow down just for her, but the reality is he's giving her a little bit of a rougher ride than if he would have just put the throttles down a little bit. They have plenty of boat here. There's no need for them to go through here at this pace and take the beating that they're taking. If they had this boat up just a little bit on plane, this thing would plow right through these waves, and it would be an easy, hands-down win for the boat. But they opted to go the opposite way and unfortunately that's going to give this round a haul over inlet. Our next boater in the fourth round though is going to make up for round one and three big time and they are going to show you how people win in boats versus haul over. Right here my man is coming through, throttles down, my favorite type of person, no F's given, and is just going to hammer his way through haul over inlet and let it know that he's in charge of this situation. Haul over does give him a few good slaps but overall this is pretty sick to watch and I love watching these guys come through here. This round definitely goes to the boats. And that's going to take us into our fifth and final round tied it to a piece and now we're going to see a boater come through here and show us what it's like when you come through with speed and control. It's evident pretty quickly he's got the speed part down, but the control part can be a little bit questionable as we watch him come through here. This is one of those videos where I really don't know what to make of this. Did he actually beat Hall over? Did Hall over wind up beating him in the end? The boat gets a little bit squirrely? I'm gonna let you guys decide. Go ahead and line it up in the comments below and let us know who won this week, whether it was the boat or Hall over inlet, and I'll feature a few of you who vote in the next week's video. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to check out our other two channels. We have Wavy Boats, who gets us all this great footage from Hall Over Inlet, and my channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on that subscribe button. If you don't, we're coming to steal your gas cap.